Hi, and welcome to Tech Tip of the Week. Today, I'm talking with Frankie Gell, a director in our practice in London, who specializes in tax technology and over the last years in, in, in how to respond to DST regulations. But Frankie, can you explain what is DST? Sure. So DST is digital services tax and the legislation differs in each country, but typically comprises of taxes which are applied to gross revenues arising from digital activities and which generally don't permit for relief related to costs or expenses. Um, in most cases, they're applicable to digital platforms that facilitate communication between users sale of user data and online advertising. And rates vary by country, as do the filing and payment regimes, uh, but typically between about two and seven and a half percent. And crucially, uh, we have seen an, a really sharp rise in the introduction of those regimes globally, and lots of payments are now becoming due. So Frankie, is this just affecting the traditional big tech companies or, or who's it affecting? So it's a good question because it was originally intended to be proportionate, narrowly targeted and, and ultimately a temporary tax in many jurisdictions because the idea was there was going to be a, or is that there's going to be a comprehensive global solution. But unfortunately, we're seeing that lots of the non-traditional um, technology businesses are coming into scope. So logistical businesses with a digital platform or, or some of the mining uh, uh, activities. So it's much broader now we're seeing than just those big tech companies. That's, uh, that's very interesting. Uh, and it's kind of a wow factor to, to just have that uh, enlightened here. So, so if we look at it, why is this a specific tax technology rather than advisory problem? Uh, when looking at it? Well, it's both, but fundamentally, it's understanding where your users are globally and taxing the revenues that they generate. Um, and that's very different from the data sets we typically see that tax you. So IP addresses, user registrations, and they're not part of that core auditive financial system. So finding the right data and making sure it's fit for those regulatory filings is a big exercise. Um, and frankly, one that can't be done in Excel. Okay, but that sounds like there's uh, there's a lot to do, uh, do here uh, on DST. And, and what should people actually do if they have any questions about it? So Jonas, kindly you're having us speak about DST on the next, next tax technology circle. So people can attend that and ask questions there. But obviously, if you missed that opportunity, very happy to connect via LinkedIn or via my email address. Perfect. Thank you so much, Frankie. Thank you for uh, for joining here and talk about uh, DST. And also, thank you for taking up the subject in the next tax technology circle in, in April. Um, thank you all for tuning in to this tax tip of the week. Uh, we look forward to serving you the next tax tip next week. Thank you.